The most joy is sparked being on a trip and using my own stuff. You have something in mind, and then you make it, and then it's there. I feel like with outdoor gear, you have so few things that whatever you have becomes very important to you. Everything takes on a really special value when it's all that you have for so long, because you just don't have that much. It's one thing to interact with something someone else made and be stuck with their decisions, and then it's another thing to like make something and be stuck with that, learn to love its imperfections. With each iteration, the imperfections start to go away and it's just this deep sense of pride of like, wow, this is something better than I could ever buy that's perfectly suited to me in a way that even if you got someone to custom make something for you, it just, it can't be matched because there's so much more to a design than just slapping features on it. It like takes on its own character. I think there's something in releasing to the world and like having other people experience it that like, it, it changes it where I, I can't really iterate on the thing until it's been out. That is what was so cool about having a company before and probably why I want to do it again. Is just having that experience of people experiencing a physical product that I've made and having such a positive feeling towards it. Like, I, I want that again. Like, I, I, it's one thing, like, I, I never thought I would try to sell I never thought I'd try to sell a backpack again, that's for sure. I was so done with all that. And I was pretty content with just making stuff for myself too, but there's something about sharing, like it's sharing things with people, like that's what it is. Even though I'm gonna hopefully be able to, you know, support my life with it somewhat, like it still is like, it's like kind of a generous thing to put it out in the world again. Like I, I kind of like that's part of that's that's why it's kind of sad to me that I don't put out videos anymore. Is that it's like that's what it is to be human, it's to share and connect. For a product to do that too is so cool. Like I have a hard time with writing stuff because I'm always on the nose. I'm always so explicit with my writing. I really like being able to share an idea through a video because it's more abstract in a way. It can take on more meanings and then further still to express myself through a product it can express almost like a way to live. That was kind of the idea with Palante is, is expressing like this way of hiking that I really felt this connection to that. And then I'm hoping with the new company, it's like it expresses my evolution from that to how I view it now. Like, the way I like to experience things now. And like trying to figure out how to have products that represent that. I mean, it's, it's why it's taken so long to come up with a name and to like want to start a company because I don't want to just have a company just for the sake of it. Like I want to have a company that has a purpose and like has a very clear vision, not just for aesthetics or little features or like things that are kind of like gimmicks. Like I wanted to express like <laughs> life meaning and purpose almost. It's kind of a tall order, but 
it's nice to at least have that vision to aim for. If I'm putting something out and having my name on it and like, it's not me, that's just not, I'm not interested anymore. That's why I like with making the pack run, like I just made 10 packs when in Louisiana and it was like kind of, I don't know, trying on the hat of like, can I make can I make things that feel like me, that aren't for me to use, necessarily? Like, what does that even feel like to do that again when, when I have to share something? It really affects how I create. Yeah, there's a lot of hurdles. Just pushing through, it's just like evidence that I can push through other things more so than now I have things I can sell.